Can I just pretend I didn't read it and be happy again? Hello, everybody. Cliff Sargent with Better Than Food Rebook. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Cliff Sargent with Book Better Than... Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Cliff Sargent here with Book Bet... Good morning. It's been a few days since I've done a post because it's been difficult to find motivation to do a post, despite all you wonderful people who have subscribed as of late. But it's really because finding motivation for anything has been difficult. Why? Seasonal depression? Holiday blues? Could be. Or it could be because I've read Thomas Ligotti's The Conspiracy Against the Human Race. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ligotti is a Floridian writer philosopher, and Lovecraft enthusiast, who specializes in horror fiction. So if you have been watching True Detective, Nick Pitts a lot of blah, 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 was really inspired by this, among many other books, for the character of Rust Cole's play by Matthew McConaughey, Philosophy of Pessimism, which, to be frank, in my opinion, is the best and only reason to watch the show. Someone once told me that time was a square triangle. It was actually because of another pessimistic philosopher that I heard about uh, True Detective being that good. Um, it was endorsed by the British philosopher Nick Land, which seemed very strange to me for somebody like him to endorse anything even remotely related to pop culture. So I watched the show, I really enjoyed it, I enjoyed a lot of the writing, and uh, then I heard about this little gem. So here's a question that Ligotti posits. Is being alive a good thing. Is being alive a good thing? Well, apparently, according to him, fuck no. Not only does he present a decent argument at why it's inevitably terrible to be a conscious human being, but he also argues that the action of bringing other human beings, that is, having children, into existence is absurdly and monstrously cruel. The tragedy for Ligotti is the evolution of the human consciousness, the split off from nature where now we know that we are going to die. The awareness that we're going to die and the capacity and inevitability of human suffering throughout our lives and often greatly right before we die. Alone, forgotten, malignantly useless, like my hair. You're probably sitting there on the other side with your arms crossed and a smirk on your face. You might even be laughing. Well, yuck it up, Chuckles, while well, you still can. So what happens when a puppet thinks it's a person and has an individual will and spirit? Or even worse, destiny or meaning. A belief in a higher power that cares about them. When it thinks it's important. Well, I'll tell you what you get. You get a nightmare. A true nightmare. One where the puppet, hint you, has to stop thinking about reality in order to continue to function in its puppetly manner. You can ignore it. Distract yourself or rationalize your way out of it. You can sublimate it and channel it into your work or your hobbies, the ones that you love, your children, your obsessions, your addictions, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. You're just kidding yourself. And you know the best part about it? Once you realize that, you can't unlearn it. <sighs> so there is no hope, no salvation. The future will not save you. Tomorrow will not be a better day. In fact, it'll probably be worse. So ow, my existence. So today, forget the John Waters rule. Drink, smoke, take it where you can get it, fuck school, break things, and don't listen to your parents. Because they didn't think twice about bringing you into this fucked up slaughterhouse called life. There are no happy endings, but it's a great book. Whether or not you fall in line with pessimistic thinking or not, it's not one that I can say is good or bad. It's impressive. So enjoy it, and thanks for watching. A lot of new subscribers out there, a lot of new people watching the channel. Just wanted to say thank you very much. Please leave comments, give me some recommendations, what you think are some books that are better than food. So I'm signing off. I'm going to China next week, and I might be gone for a little while, so I will try and get a couple more reviews out this week, and uh, then you might not hear from me for a little bit. But I hope you are all well, and I will talk to you soon. Don't die. Take care. Go read. Ciao.